Welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. Last outing wasn't so good. Wasn't great. But we have the Lightning here and we can hopefully get a decent showing this time around. I mean, they are 11-2-1 and, and they're second in the league. So it's going to be tough. Definitely not going to be a walk in the park. But I believe we can do it. We can pull this off. Absolutely. So let's go to the lines. Um, yeah, I usually show the lines at the beginning of these. So let's do that. And it's not really changing a whole lot. But anyway, maybe some overalls have gone up that you guys can notice or anything like that. But we got Nuge, McDavid, and Pujarvi, Yamamoto, Dreisaitl, and Hyman, Ennis, Deno, and Radulov, Achari, Ryan Fogel. Our defense are pretty solid here. Nurse and Barry is a top pair. Pretty good. Bouchard and Keith. And then Letty, CeCe. And in net, we got TJ and Pavel. So I'm kind of like the starting goalie this year. So we have come to the conclusion... That is probably best that I play one and then sim two, so that way we can get through the season and it doesn't take forever. And if I'm starting a lot a lot, then maybe we could do three. So, yeah, here we go. Ready? First period. That's not good. They have six shots. Okay, that's more like it. That's more like it. Fourteen shots. This is doable. Let's jump in. Do they still have all their big pieces? Yeah, it looks like they do. All right. So... Let's do this thing. I also, once again, like, I've been so bad for this recently, but I realized that last video I forgot to turn on a light as part of the whole green screen thing, so... I I just don't know what's gonna happen. Like, it's, uh... I, I need to get my act together, is what I'm gonna say, because I keep forgetting, and it's, you know, something that I never used to forget. It only started happening recently for some odd reason, so... Yeah, uh, anyway... Hopefully I can get the green screen to work, and I'll probably be not as bright as usual in that one. But I guess, you know, um, if I got it to work, which I will somehow get it to work, maybe some parts will be kind of buggy, like my eyes might glitch out at some spots, but yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, Stamkos, he's in, takes a clapper, and I'll challenge that. Make a stop on the glove side. And our team's there for the rebound. Here we go, Yessi. Oh, he beats Hedman wide. Nice pass to McDubstep. Oh, nice try. He almost picked it back up too, but Stamkos just out-muscled him. Speaking of Stamkos, he's in. No, he's not. Poljarvi going to challenge him. Kalorn put it deep. Nope, he's not going to do it. He's going to go across. Great defense. That was amazing, Nurse. Got his twig in the way. And broke up that opportunity. Oh no, but then he does that. But then he does that. Stamkos is going to rip one. I will save it and pass it out to Barry. As you can see in the bottom left corner, I am actually Perron. Yeah. I can change to be whatever player I want to be. That's a cool feature. And Point gets the rebound there. Makes it 3-1. 3-1, right? I think it was 2-1 coming in. So yeah, 900 save percentage once again. Mm -mm. I just don't get how inconsistent this game is. Okay. Like, one game, our simulation, they'll have, like, 80 shots and one goal. And then the next one, they'll have three shots and five goals. Like, what? H how is that possible? Why is this happening? Can we at least get some consistency here? So, there's two goals scored on me. Tampa Bay is clearly still my kryptonite. They are able to bury two basically back-to-back -back there. Things are not looking good. That's going to be an L again. Man, I'm starting to get mad again. This is starting to become Tino Manny all over again. I just got to cool it. Maybe I'll take a small break from recording these because I do have a bunch piled up. I think I have up till four released at the moment. And this is going to be, what, number 11 or something? So I definitely have a bit of time to sort of chill. Maybe take a couple days, three days off of recording these. And, yeah, try to come back completely fresh. So, we'll see if I feel the need to do that after the next game. Perron, he's in. Goes in the middle to point. I will glove that. And I'm not going to pass that one out because they were all up in my personal bubble. Sorelli with the draw win. And Hedman goes to take a shot. That won't get through. He might have another chance here. No, he's going to pass it down low. I'm going to glove that and dish it out to Bouchard, who makes the breakout pass to Dano. Oh, he took it wide. Nice play. I like the shot attempt. It was solid. Maybe not the strongest shot, but the placement was 
fairly good. Kachuk. Give me that team play. Pass that to you. You're the easy out. And Keith headmans it to Radulov, who gives it away. I don't know what we're doing out there today, but all of us are playing bad. The whole team is just not here for this third period. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorelli with it to Kachuk. That will be kicked aside. Did he just try to shoot it? Like, what was that? It looked like he tried to rip one from behind the net. That is a bold strategy, sir. All right. Come on, Den. No! Oh, nice shot. Very good placement. That beats Vazzy and gets us within two. Things still aren't looking great. That guy's arms are busted. That did not look natural. But anyway, yeah. Um, we have two goals to make up for still. Let's see if we can pull it off. That would have tied it up had I not let in those other two, but I sure did. The rebound one, I'm not going to say that's my fault, you know? Like, sure... I will take partial blame, but I made the initial save, and the defense should have had the guy on the rebound. So I'm definitely not going to sit here and say that one was all me. The second one, I would like to claim probably a majority of the responsibility on that one. I just wasn't ready for it, I'm going to be honest. Did not expect it at all. It came through and was in the net before I even knew what was going on. Stamkos gives it away, but now Kucherov, Kucherov <laughs> that's his name. All right, he has it again. Passes to McDonough, who goes for a point shot. Oh, he gets another one through. And that one is just wide of the net, thankfully. Stamkos in the middle of the Kucherov. Another save. I don't know if that was an X-Factor shot or not. I didn't really hear anything, but it probably was. I feel like every shot that guy takes is an X-Factor. Stamkos has it again. We are definitely getting outplayed in this third period. It is not even a contest right now. Six and a half minutes to go. We still have some time. But two goals is a tall task. All right, Kalorin. This guy was rent-free in Tino Manny's head. But I refused to let him get into TJ's head. I mean, I didn't really have a chance to prove myself right there because he didn't get a shot off. But I still... It, it's going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Nice save from TJ. Ron has it behind the net. Tried to go for a poke check, but didn't really need it. And now we... Are headed back the other way once more. We really need to get one soon, guys. We are running out of time quick. Nice hit. Love the physicality. That'll get some momentum going our way, hopefully. Nice. Angle him off. And now we have possession again. Nuge. He's going to lose it. Smith with an incredible play there. Manages to come out with it, but... Mr. Ryan will back check and manage... To get the puck right back in Oilers' possession. You know what, though? Although I did let in two goals, I feel like I made a decent amount of saves this period. So my saves category might not be a total write-off. Please get off the ice. Okay. I got off just on time. Didn't count against me. So yeah, saves is still a B-. minus. That's not awful. Team play is kind of close. I might even get another shot or two here because I got pulled kind of early. Yeah, there's still a full minute left. So there's a chance that... Another opportunity is had by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Dano rips one. Another great shot attempt from him. This time it won't go, however. Vasilevsky is playing great right now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Close side save. I don't know. That's just become my new thing. Every time I make a save, it's just, oh, yeah? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I just have random things like that. There's no explanation. Like, uh, what, was the, what was the one in... The Tino Manny be a pro, I said all the time. I can't remember what it was. Oh, no, it was Oh Boy, I think. I think that was it. Either way, we just scored. It's pretty elite. Makes it a two-goal game once again, which means I'm, I'm probably going to get pulled again. Even though there's 30 seconds left and we really don't stand much of a chance here. Just being a realist. All right, get ready. Get ready to skate. Yep, Ennis gives it to Keith. And the boys are in. Dano gets dropped. Let's move the camera up here, and Kucherov is going to score. No, he's not. He's going to miss the net. That's splendid. Oh, my word. What a giveaway. But Kalorn couldn't hit the net. See, I'm ran free in his head. He had an empty net. Still couldn't score, though. Sucks to suck. Oh, breakaway. Breakaway. Ennis! What was that? That was poo. All right, well, another loss. Yeah, we got a really... Figure out what's going on here. Playing absolutely terrible. Let's see if James has anything to say. If he's just going to talk about around the league, I'm out. I am out. I'm skipping it. 
Volatility? Round the... Yeah, okay. No, I'm out. Let me skip it! Come on! Get out of here. James, stop it. Oh, man. Alright, well, time to sim two games. Hopefully it goes better. Pittsburgh Penguins, they are 6-6-1. Six, six, and one. That's an alright start. Mm-hmm. Cool. 7-3. They had 27 shots. You know, they got close. And we got seven goals. That is a dang it. Gensel with two. Drysaddle had two for us. All right, continue. We're probably going to be in net against Detroit here as well. Let's see, though. Yes, we are. Sim this one. Play one, sim two. First period. Oh, wow. 16 shots. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Of course. But of course. Here we go. Yeah, lovely. Amazing. At least they had 34 shots, though. And then Nadeljkovic puts up a 939 with 31 saves, because of course he does. We're not in against the Rangers. Hopefully we can squeak out a win here and become 11-6-1. Conversation with the coach. This can only go one way, and that is not good. With the Hockey Hall of Famer coming up Hockey a little Hall later of Famer? on. Meantime, hey, look, locally, yeah, I know. I know I can't stop a beach ball. Way too many goals as of late, and the youngster has kind of been... Uh, the subject of a lot of criticism right here on this show as it's well. It's simple. All you need to do is stop text, the puck. You do it then. Social media as well and on the phone what a lines. prick. And the coaching staff clearly sees the same thing that a lot of you are That's seeing That's not happening. As well. They pulled the youngster aside and sent a direct message, I think. A uh, DM? Prior to the skate to say, hey, look. Send me a DM? You've got to be better. We need more from you. And the idea of this goal is again. Sick and tired. Sick and tired. Yeah, Alright. No! Stop it, James! I've had enough. Alright, sim game. We need to let in one goal here against the last place. Let's take a look around the uh, dude! <laughs> Buffalo Sabres. First period. That's a good way to start. We might actually be able to pull it off. We might actually be able to do this. Alright, here we go. I don't... I think it does show players with abilities here if there are some. So they have literally nobody with any abilities or X-Factors. That is... Wild. Well, anyway, here we go. Nice draw with McDusty to get this period started. Olafson gets over to Cousins. So that's the thing. I can let in one goal in this third period. I just can't let in more than that. So that is definitely achievable. Tuck down low, and we are going to the penalty kill early. Thanks for that, guys. Appreciate you. Here come the Sabres. Tage Thompson takes a shot, and Barry's there for the rebound. Back the other way. I kind of forgot Ryan was even on the team. I just sort of keep forgetting he's there. Because he did so well last year. And he really just fell off this year. But that's probably because his line... I think he was demoted to line 4, right? He was on line... Actually, he wasn't Wasn't he even line, line 2 last year, maybe? I can't remember for sure. But he, he very well might have been on the second line. But if not, definitely the third line. He wasn't a fourth liner. So, um, thank you. I got so lucky. He would have dangled the living crap out of me. My jock strap. Would be hanging from the rafters. No. No, 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 not like this. Not like this. Okay, that's that's ideal. They have it behind the net, but they're not doing a whole lot with it. Wait, what? What the heck? <laughs> I didn't even have the puck. It was right there. Okay, thanks, ref. Ref's hooking me up right now. I appreciate you. No. Yes. <laughs> that was a quick turn of emotions right there. An absolute roller coaster ride of about one or two seconds. Okay, it's going to say, if he didn't pass that and got crunched and lost the puck and they kept it in, I was going to be fuming. Well, Yarvi, I mean, okay, you definitely could have done something a little bit better there, but at least you got to the front of the net. Tucky gets stepped up on, and now we are in possession behind our own net. Let's try to get a solid breakout here. That's going to work. Nuge steps right over Olafson. I mean, not right over him, you know, but that was metaphorically. Anyway... He has it now again. Passes to Pujarvi. Gets it taken off of him. But CC with it will leave it for Nuge. Down low. Some good cycling here from the Oilers. Not letting the Buffalo Sabres touch the puck at all. Oh, there we go. They ended up getting it. Tucky passes it up to Jeff Skinner. Who tries to take a slap shot. That will go off the defender's skate. Amazing. Amazing. There's the one goal that I'm allowed to let in this third period. I feel like hugging the post sometimes works, but a lot of the time does not. Like it's... Well, there's that promise failed again. Man, this game is starting to make me mad again. Yeah, I think it's definitely time for a be a pro recording break. Maybe I'm getting too 
exhausted from the amount that I have been recording of this. That could be it. Because I feel like last time with Tino Manny, if I took some breaks and came back, I usually played a lot better. So that's, uh, you know, goalie fatigue. Be a pro fatigue, if you will. We can still win this game, though. Although I won't make the coach's promise, which was very achievable considering we came into this third period with no goals. And I'm a little angry about it, but we can still win the hockey game. And at the end of the day, that is what I am most concerned about. I also have no idea how many shots they had coming into this period. I did not really look, so that is something else I should maybe be concerned about, is the 900 save percentage might not even happen either. Which I know I mentioned it a lot, but I want it! I want that 900, okay? That is my goal. So I can hopefully achieve that by the end of this year. But the way things are going, uh, who really knows what's going to happen. I might have a 700, honestly. Asplund in the middle. That will be stopped. They still have control of it, though. And we're taking another penalty. Incroyable. Amazing. Thanks for that, Edmonton. Our PK has been on top of things so far. They have not received a single tally in the shot department yet. But it looks like they're about to. Dalin gets one off. A nice save, and the defense will be there for the rebound. It's a hit or miss whether or not they're going to be there. But when they are, it's great. Olofsson comes in with 30 seconds left on our penalty. And our defense will play that perfectly. Back down the ice it goes, and that is pretty much going to kill that power play. Or I guess I should say penalty kill. But the Sabres power play. Dahlin goes cross ice to Dylan Cousins. Oh, I thought he was going to get rocked. It looked like it was going to be a much bigger hit than it ended up being. Ryan with it. He's down low. Nice pass, Ryan. That was amazing. But we weren't able to score. And Keith also not able to score. Walking in there. It's all right. We still have the lead. Things are still looking good. Let's have a look down the bench there. Just because why not. Tucky has it in the slot. That won't get through. Ooh. CC picked that up and really threw me off there. So we got about two and a half to go here. I wanted to smother that, but I guess Keith had different plans. But that's okay, because it worked out. And look at him go. He is breezing up the ice. No way. I thought he was going to score. He got like a clear lane to walk in. But you know what? Actually, he had another chance this game where he's able to just walk in. That one didn't turn out so good. So maybe I had my hopes up for no good reason. Last minute of play. We are still up by one. And the Sabres are not pulling their goalie. Impressive. It's very impressive. The goalie pulling logic in this game. Oh my word. Of course we give it up right in the slot too. This game just wants you to rage. Yoki Haru to Sprong. He's going to go in front. I knew it. I knew it. And I still couldn't get there in time. Why was he all alone in front of the net? Can someone answer me that? Please. Might get one more shot here from Olofsson. It'll probably go in. Yeah, I'm really not in the mood for overtime. I'm going to be honest. I'm just not feeling it. Nope. No siree. But here we go nonetheless. Three on three action for, well, it could be five minutes, but I kind of doubt it. I feel like someone's going to score. We have gone to a couple shootouts so far in our career, so it's definitely possible. But I feel like the more likely outcome is an overtime goal. We almost had a killer opportunity already. Rasmus Dahlin goes to Olafson, stops up, and he's going to lose it, but Cousins picks it up. Down low to... I need to take a break. I need a break. Yep. You guys won't notice a difference, but I sure will. What a monumental collapse. They ended up with 33 shots as well. Just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. I don't even want to hear it. I'm just skipping past that. Like, I'm just mashing X past that coach meeting and I'm skipping everything James has to say. I don't care. I do not care. No, I don't care, James. I don't care if you want to bring it back. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Get out of here. All right. Yeah, C minus. Seems about right. Nope, don't think so, James. I don't think so. Sim to next game. Coach Pratt. Literally don't give two craps what you have to say. Get me out of here. Yeah, we got one point. Okay. Nope, don't care. Get me out of here. ASAP! Hurry up! Come on, I don't need these cutscenes. Let's see how our two sim games go. Hopefully they go a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. At least I had a decent save percentage that time. There's your three stars of the game. And continue. 
Let's um, meet with Connor, apparently, before playing our next game. What's up? Are we going to a museum? Ball game? What is it this time? Where are we? Okay, sure. Let's go for some food. Uh-huh. I mean... Nah, let's just go with the neutral one. Oh! Plus four endurance. Don't mind if I do. Cool. I've never... I don't know if I've seen an attribute outcome from a conversation before. Maybe. Well, we're... Probably gonna be in here. This guy loves to talk. What do you want now? What is it? You said we'd get the shutout and we didn't. Yeah, okay. That's an easy thing to promise. Yeah, just let me let in zero goals. That's easy enough. Well, we got the Arizona Coyotes here. I'm simming this game and then I am taking a recording break. Okay, nice. There we go. 4-2 on 36 shots. Thank you. At least the simulation is... Kind of being my friend now, because I did not do myself any favors there. I was playing absolutely horrendous. I came in so good, and things just fell apart. I don't want this to be another Tino Manny, so... Yeah, we gotta... Regroup. Sure, let's get the angle stat up. Same with Breakaway. And probably being against the Capitals here. It's our next game. Yes, we are. Okay, so... Guys, you guys won't notice the difference, but me personally, I gotta take a break from recording because that is just rough and I am actually getting pissed off. So I gotta, you know, just give my head a shake, calm down, and come back at it totally fresh. So um, the good news is we are still 8 5 and 2. Uh, we're 77 overall, and 888 is an awful. 304 could be better, but you know, it's okay. And yeah, that's about it. So, um,. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And we are still doing well. We're sixth in the league. Things look good. You know what? I'll view the stats real quick. I kind of forgot I want to do that after every video. So Connor McDavid has 26 points in 21 games. Dry saddle point a game. Nudes just shy. The no with 18. Nice. Okay. Play RV 17. And that's the rest of the team. Goalies. We got an 888 and a 304. And then an 896 and a 301. Goalies are playing phenomenal this year. Wow, we're stealing the show. We're still first in the division. We have one game on the Ducks, and we are three points ahead of them, so it's looking solid there. So you know what? Although I'm playing, like, absolute trash out of nowhere, just all of a sudden, I think we're still, still very good. We're in a very good spot considering. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I will see you soon.